Hi, and welcome back to Windy Nation TV. Now that we have an overview of what the Xantrax C-Series DC controller does, we're going to focus in on the C60 model and how to hook it up for use as a diversion controller. A diversion controller monitors when the battery voltage exceeds your bulk and float settings, then diverts the excess power to a dump load, which releases the extra power as heat. Wind turbines and hydro generators need to be regulated in diversion mode because this mode allows wind turbines and hydro generators to be constantly connected to an electrical load, whether it be a battery or a dump load. Solar panels can also be regulated in diversion mode, but it's not a requirement. Now, let me show you the basic components. First is the clean power source, solar, hydro, or wind. Although the setup we're going to show you will help you wire any small wind turbine to a battery bank, we're going to set this particular system for use with our Windy Nation Wintura 750 wind turbine. Next, we have a battery or battery bank. We're setting up two 12 volt batteries hooked up in parallel to create one 12 volt configuration using maintenance free RV marine batteries. Third, we have our DC charge controller, which you're already familiar with from the last video. Again, this regulates the flow of power to maximize the efficiency and life of your batteries. Fourth, we have our dump load or diversion system. The dump load works with your charge controller to handle excess power when your battery reaches maximum charge. Some other components we'll use are automatic reset circuit breakers, but you could use a fuse or a disconnect switch, a three-phase bridge rectifier which converts the three-phase AC electricity produced by the wind turbine to DC electricity, and appropriately rated wire and connection terminals, which you can find in the user manual. And we'll also show you the optional Windy Nation watt meter. Now, let's get started by configuring the proper settings on the controller for use with the Wintura 750 wind turbine kit. First, remove the C60's cover. You will find three sets of jumpers on the right side of the circuit board. The middle jumper is to change the mode of the C60 between load controller and charge controller. We're setting up as a diversion controller, which falls under the charge control mode. This means the jumper should cover the upper pins. When changing the jumpers, be extra careful not to damage or bend the pins. The bottom jumper is to select the voltage you're working with. We'll select 12. The upper jumper changes depending on which mode you're using your controller for. Again, we're using ours in the charge control mode, so this jumper changes it from automatic or manual battery equalization. The factory setting is manual and we'll keep it there, but if you set it to automatic, the unit will perform an equalization charge every 30 days. In the manual settings mode, the equalization charge is performed by using the reset switch visible on the side of the controller's housing. Finally, we need to set our bulk and float charge parameters. Please see the charts in your manual as the scale numbers printed on the C60 circuit board change depending on what voltage you're set for, 12 or 24. You need to consult individual battery manufacturers for bulk float voltage setting recommendations. For the type of batteries we're using, Xantrex recommends that the bulk charge meter be set at 14.4 volts and that our float charge meter be set at 13.4 volts. One final note. If you're using NICAD batteries, you will cut the R46 resistor to raise charge parameters. Please see the DC controller user's manual for more specific instructions if using NICAD batteries. In our next video, we'll wire the system together. WindyNation.com. Clean power to the people.